I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. This message is for my friends in the diaspora. Before you relocate to Africa, to Nigeria, please take this cancel very seriously. Don't just watch videos that people like me do in the farm and in Nigeria here and let it don't let it create an urgency in you to run from wherever you are to Nigeria and to any other African country. To relocate is not easy. When you relocate to your country, it's like jumping down from on top of a tree. You need to stabilize before you run. It's quite a daunting challenge, a daunting challenge. So before you relocate, please note that it is not either or, it's not either Europe or Africa, or Africa or Europe. No, you can live both lives. Even me talking to you here, I'm going to save money and buy a rural property in Romania where I can spend time with my grandchildren in Europe. So this is not the time you just abandon one country and run to another country and lose your relationship with that country. No. Make sure you have a permanent residency permit that will enable you to be going to Europe if need be. I was really excited when I saw that during COVID-19 lockdown, the United States evacuated Nigerians who were their citizens back to the United States. And some of them survived the lockdown because they had dual citizenship. Don't just carry the whole of your family and come to Nigeria or any other country. You can leave the children and your wife there and then come on your own first to test the waters. The Chinese call it crossing the stream while filling the pebbles. Test the waters. When you relocate from overseas to Nigeria, it can be quite frustrating. When I left Abatu Delta State, it was quite frustrating because the lifestyle there and the lifestyle here totally different. You might suffer a lot of losses because people will take undue advantage of you. So please have backup in Europe. Don't start big when you come to Africa. Have a buffer money reserve and then start small. Even if you want to start a farm, if you have a big land, start small. Let the business grow organically. When you start too large, if there is failure, you might be discouraged and devastated. Try and get reliable people to work with here in Africa. And then, as much as possible, try and invest in businesses that are early maturing. If you are going to go into agriculture, even though you are going to plant palm trees and cocoa and rubber and whatever, start with planting crops that mature within three months to four months, maize, fluted pumpkin, vegetables. Before you think about cassava, you can plant cassava, but have these early maturing crops that can give you some revenue before you start reaping the big one. The next thing is that do integrated farming. Farm pig that will mature in 115 days and deliver, uh, deliver 115 days, three weeks, three months, I mean three months, three weeks, and three days. Plant, use their excrement to um, manure pineapples, 
use their excrement to produce biogas, use the biogas to cook, use the biogas to power a small generator, and so try as much as possible to do an integrated agricultural scheme. Don't just you have a farm, try and use have it as a holiday resort that people can come and stay and relax. When you come, don't speak go down, you know, you know, 20, no, say 20, 20. Speak like Dr. Apoki so that they don't know where you are from. Dress simply so that you don't attract um, kidnappers. Drive a regular car, take public transport if possible. Do not be argumentative with policemen and security agencies. This is Africa. The next thing is, as much as possible, keep something in Europe that you have started that can yield revenue before you come here. And I will encourage you, relate with people who have been productive here. Then ask yourself, what skills do you have that the people can use, that you can use here and the people will benefit from. Then don't, I said your relationships in the United States, in the UK and whatever, you can bring franchises to, to Nigeria and to Africa, represent them. You can bring products from there and people will buy from you. If you send me questions, I will share with you 10 businesses that you can invest in, in Nigeria, when you relocate from the diaspora. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles uh, Poki. Send me a message on plus two, three, four, seven, zero, five, two, one, three, six, seven, six, three. God bless you.